Basha, thank you. Some are worried about possible cyber attacks as retaliation. And cybersecurity experts now telling us now is the perfect time to take steps to secure your data and your finances. Joe Hankey talked to some experts today who say the risk of a cyber attack by the Russians against the United States is low, but the White House has said it is within the realm of possibilities. Well, Jeff, an international affairs professor at UGA tells me the chance of a cyber attack could go up if sanctions against Russia are increased or the U.S. sends military aid to Ukraine and that pushes Russia over an edge. Regardless, I'm told there are certain steps we should all be taking simply to protect our data and stay as safe as possible. Never going to be the push of a button and we're suddenly safe. It's always going to be a part of our daily lives. Lee Heisman is the CEO of Savant, an Atlanta-based IT company. He says now is always the time to take steps to protect your data. And that starts with saving your important files in multiple places. The most important thing you can do is have a backup of your data. Because if you are breached or hacked, that data is invaluable. Ransomware, Joe, is another hot topic for people. And as you know, with ransomware, people always say, do not pay the ransomware. They're exactly right, because less than 8% of people that pay ransomware actually get all their information back. Heisman also recommends protecting your passwords by changing them often, using two-factor authentication so you can be alerted if someone attempts to access your accounts, and consider using a password manager program. Pa passwords managers like LastPass or Dashlane, they're good to get. They're really, really important, of course, and they change your password for you. You never have to know what you're typing. The system will automatically put it in. So far, warnings from the U.S. government make it appear likely cyber attack targets would be corporations or government offices. Heisman says by association, though, your personal data could still be impacted. If these companies that you're using are compromised, what can you do? That's the real fear. Because Russia, and if there are hacks and breaches that are going on, sometimes it's not directly at you. Sometimes it's at the people and the companies that you use, like those. So what can you do? Heisman recommends being aware of how to freeze your credit if your data is part of a hack and consider signing up with the IRS for a six-digit identity protection pin. This way no one's going to breach and get your tax data or be able to do anything on your taxes, obviously, which is the most important thing for, for protecting your, your, your safety and your identity. And Heisman says the key when it comes to cybersecurity is to focus on what you personally can control. That comes down to backing up your data, protecting your passwords, and taking those additional steps to protect your own individual identity. Sheba.